Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. In this video, we're going to focus on the different types of chassis. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. So this part of the series in this video is going to be specifically focused on comparing the different types of chassis for the R340, and we're going to use this as a good time to do just kind of general overview and highlight all the different parts, even though within this series we are going to go into depth on each one of those parts. So if there's something in particular that you want to know more about, whether that's RAID or CPUs or RAM, that'll be uh, in this series somewhere so you can check it out. So, all right, so uh, let's go ahead and hop in. The, uh, the heart of the difference between the two chassis is going to be storage, and that's pretty normal in general when you're looking at um, a, a system that's basically the same system. This is an R340 um, that you're going to have uh, a four bay large form factor and an eight bay small form factor. Same thing with, say, a 640. You have the four bay large form factor, and then you have an eight and a 10 bay and a 10 by two bay uh, small form factor. Um, so, it's pretty normal that that's uh, the heart of the differences within its own uh, generation. So, um, with the uh, the system as a whole, there's not much else that's different. So uh, this uh, eight bay has two SAS cables because you need the extra cable to the back plane since there's double the drives. Um, but really outside that, uh, the only other uh, noticeable difference is that the uh, eight bay is shorter and a little bit lighter, uh, and we'll show you that just because uh, essentially the drives are shorter, so you don't need as much depth. Um, so that's that's the real big differences as a whole. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these uh, side by side, uh, do an aerial view, and uh, lift the tops on both, and show you the inside so you can really compare side by side. And then we're going to stack them on top of each other and show you the fronts and the backs, so you can see like, a, a real comparison on what they actually look like uh, for yourself. So let's get going. All right, so we're going to start with a side-by-side -side comparison. So first things first, make sure your latch is set to unlock. Pop the top and lift it up like any Dell server you've been in before. All right, so now we're going to uh, do this as a good review of the system as a whole and compare them side by side. So uh, first things first, you're going to have your back plane. And as you'll notice, the chassis, because the back plane for the uh, 2.5 inch drives is shorter, that is going to be the real difference because the back plane starts here versus here. And that is the difference back here with the, the length of the chassis, which again is why the 8 bay is a little bit lighter. And then of course, when you throw in the drives, the 3.5 five inch drives are also heavier as a whole, but that is the, uh, the difference right there on the actual chassis side. But we'll use this again as a good opportunity to go over everything. So here's your two cables versus your one. Um, that's an, uh, also an important feature that I wanted to notice. But again, once you get to this point right here, everything's the same. So you're going to have uh, your four fans, you're going to have your air baffle, and if we lift up the air baffles, you're going to see you have a CPU for dim slots. You have your SD card reader, which you can install over here as well. Uh, you have your riser with your uh, two PCIe slots on the riser, and then they both have the dedicated uh, RAID port. Uh, it's not installed on this one as it is on uh, the four bay right now, but again, it's all the exact same. And then the two uh, power supplies that are hot swap, and again, it can be 350 or 550. Uh, so again, everything is the same. The, uh, the ports in the back and the front, everything uh, is the same, uh, and the heart of the difference is the uh, the storage as far as an eight bay small form factor versus a four bay large form factor, uh, and then you know for playing Family Feud, I guess the next big difference is the length here, um, and then the two cables versus the one. And again, uh, when you're talking the heart of the system, the CPUs, the RAM, the RAID, uh, everything from that standpoint is is all the same. The motherboard, you know, the risers, it's it's all the same. So now we are going to do uh, the front comparison, and we'll do the back comparison. All right, so the heart of the differences, as we discussed, are going to be the storage. So your four bay large form factor, which is going to be the 3.5 inches on the bottom, and then your eight bay small form factor, which is a 2.5 inch, is on the top. And that is going to be, uh, again, the heart of the difference between the two chassis. So now we'll go ahead and we'll flip them around and we'll show you the back. So we put them on top of each other and we line the fronts up to be even so you can see how uh, big of a difference the back is. 
as far as the uh, the depth of the system itself. Um, so again, the eight bay small form factor is going to be shorter as far as the uh, the overall depth. But of course, they're both one use as far as like the uh, the thickness and how you'd put it into a rack. So uh, so if you look, all the ports are going to be the exact same. Your PCIe's are the same. Uh, your dual power supplies are the same. They use the same power supply. I mean, everything is the same. It, the only difference again comes back to the fact that because the 2.5 inch drives are shorter, the chassis itself is shorter, and the uh, the storage itself really. So, well, hey, thanks for stopping by. If uh, you guys need any custom built servers yourself, please email us at sales at cloudengines.com. If you need uh, Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we do AMD Ryzen, AMD Epic, Intel Scalable, uh, we do end of life parts. Uh, if you need something brand new, you need something used, we try to cover the entire life cycle and we'd love the opportunity to earn your home lab, your data center's business. Please give us a shot. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys.